guys. Tough thumbs here. Yep. So you guys saw the uh, the name of the uh, video. I'm guessing you're probably wondering what the fuck that's all about. And you will see. I'm very happy with the, some of the results of some pimp jobs today on uh, one of my nightmare knives. Um, but yeah, I took a bunch of acid and uh, played a bunch of Fallout and uh, see what I could uh, come up with. So before we get into that, uh, I'm just gonna, gonna do a product placement here, guys. Spicy Hot V8. It's like drinking hot sauce. It's fucking awesome. I don't like regular V8, but this shit's... Oh, I'm just joking, guys. <laughs> Gotta drink your vegetables. So, you know, uh, I've been looking at this whole acid uh, washing or etching or whatever the hell it is like everybody's been doing on here. And, you know, I bought some of that stuff from Radio Shack a while ago, and uh, you never got around to it, but today I was just like, yeah, all right, I need to, I need to try this out. So I grabbed my uh, my Temperance tr uh, Temperance 2 knockoff, and, uh, you know, it was basically stonewashed, and, uh, you know, I covered up the edge and uh, dipped it in there, and it turned out really cool, actually. It's, like, really dark. God. It's hard to see. But it's like real dark, almost like a, uh, uh, like a gunmetal gray, like a dark gray. It's really nice, actually. I just kind of like put nail polish on the edge there. Yeah, you know, I've seen people do it. I don't like the real deep shit that they're doing. I just feel like it's just destroying that blade. But um, so I put it very lightly. I didn't keep it in there for too long, but. Um, then I saw the results of stone washing it afterwards, which is on the uh, the second knife, my masterpiece of the month. Um, very, very happy with it. Um, I got the inspiration for that one. I'll, I'll put a link below. This knife I saw last night blew my freaking mind. Like, it just... Like, I sat there in awe, and you guys will too. I'll, I'll, put, I'll hopefully put the video link in there. But first up... This one's not finished. I actually, uh, you know, you guys, I would do the 67s. Everybody asked for the, you know, titanium scale, hole in the blade. Uh, destroyed my Fordham today, so it's out of commission. So that means I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be like, I don't know. Like, the patterns I've been doing lately have been crisper, cleaner because of that thing. But, uh, yeah, things are going to go a lot slower until I guess I get the piece on about maybe Wednesday or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it's a 67. So the first one, it doesn't have the hole in the blade. But, um, you know, the scale's finished, and I'm going to do some more fun stuff to it, but for now, I just wanted to show two, because, you know, they're, 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 uh, you know, 67s are, uh, a long pimp job, so, I mean, I got two of them finished, and I just want to show them, this is my, uh, fuck, the, I think there's parts of 67s ever. I've had two of them, and they're both destroyed, but, you know, it's great having them, like, parted out, this one's, like, full flat grind. You know, it's, it's kind of funny. Like, this one I use as a template, so I don't and get any blade play anymore. You know, it's basically flattened. You know, I use this to trace right up against it. Yeah, it's just, you know what, I love the knife. Uh, customizing is just awesome. So first off, so when the LSD was kicking in, this is the knife that I did first. And once it's done, it's going to have the hole and everything. It's going to be sweet as hell. But uh, the scale is just mind-bogglingly gorgeous. Of course, craters, guys. Just turned out 
you know, nuts, just really nuts. But, uh, you know, this guy's not finished. Um, minimal blade play, actually. It's not too bad. Um, I don't think it's, uh, you know, fully finished, so. I think it's just a couple tweaks I need to make to it. But it's perfectly centered. You know, opens nice. Little, no, you know, not even, just a little bit of side to side. No, not really, actually. That lock bar just needs to be carbonized, but, yeah. Both of these are gonna get the cut out here. The other one doesn't have it yet, because, uh, you know, like I said, the Fordham's out of commission, so. I'll probably do that one, but save this one for when I get it fixed. I'll probably send this one out on uh, Monday. Excuse me. But yeah, that guy, uh, I'm just kidding, guys. I don't really do LSD, but, anymore. But, uh, that just turned out crazy. It's just like a, a really nice blue with just some like really nice looking crazy Damascus titanium pattern on there. You got gold inside the craters and purple. Some silver. It's nice and smooth too. Craters aren't aggressive and kind of like an open area here. Kind of like the fade but in a circle. Kind of like a disease closing in on this uh, titanium scale. But uh... Yeah, that one's real nice. I love that scale. So, each in person guy, this is so bright right now, like it's so vibrant. Like the light like destroys the uh, the color here. I wish I could get a better, yeah, whatever. So anyway, now onto the Steampunk 67. This one is awesome, I love it. I've always, always wanted to do a Steampunk themed knife and uh, wasn't asked for. I just, you know, he asked for anodizing. It started to look like I wanted it to. And, um, you know, I threw some extras in there. I did uh, do some acid stone washing on the blade. Very light, though, because I don't, you know, I don't feel right, like, just modifying the blade like that. But enough to basically get a two tone going on and a stone wash for the first time with the uh, acid edge, which turned out awesome. I'm going to be doing that a lot. So, unfortunately, it doesn't do shit to titanium, but it just cleans it. So, this is a two sider, so. Start with the blade first. So you see, uh, you can't see very well, but yeah, there you go. It's a stone wash. It's like a dark stone wash up top. The line was nice and even, but it kind of made like a little wavy type of like rough thing, but it actually looks real good with the rest of the knife. And I managed to keep the pat the uh, 67 on there. Got a nice hole here. And of course cratering, but this one is the bronze. Uh, it's very, very gold bronze, uh, you know, off camera here. Kind of like a uh, partially heated, heated up, partially uh, anodized. It's like a nice gold color. Um, and then instead of, the guy wanted a backspacer, but I had an idea, you know, to go with the steampunk thing and it worked really well. I don't know what these things are, but they worked. They're kind of like gears. Kind of like a clock going on there, and they're actually they pop out a little bit, so you get some grip on there, and they they actually look pretty damn cool with the rest of the knife. I'm very happy with that way that turned out, for sure. Had to modify them a little bit. This side also uh, kind of antiqued, I guess. And the clip I put my logo just kind of half-ass, like off the side, a little bit messy. Looks like it was just stamped on there by like a machine, and I uh, like really made that pocket clip look old as hell. But uh, the overall, I just, I'm, love, I'm in love with this thing. Uh, unfortunately, um, lockup on this thing is a motherfucker, so. Ugh, I don't know if I can get it. That is simply due to the cutout not being here and like being, you know, no room to grab that. Either that or the bar got pushed a little bit, but you know, it's nice and smooth, nice and centered that cool like kind of a gear thing going on there it looks real awesome it just looks really cool and you got the uh, crater fade here definitely gonna do some day shots of this guys with some nice big craters can't see how uh, gold it is actually, but 
bronze. This one's got no blade play whatsoever, anywhere, nothing. It's just perfect. So I'm happy with that. Uh, unfortunately, the lockup is just real tight. Yeah, if, if I can get in there better. So once you get this cut out here, you have a lot more room to, to grab on there. I really like that uh, dark stone wash. Looks cool. Yeah, so I still take orders for the 67s. I said I might not, but you know, I don't know about the whole. I mean, every time I do it, something seems to break. So I mean, whether it's a $30 carbide burr bit or you know my Fordham, which is like my most important tool, um, you know, it's just a pain. But you know, I love doing it, and you know, if I had, you know, I just love the whole. I mean, it looks so cool, so much better than uh, it does a uh, factory with that big gecko. I think oh, somebody's calling me. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, check out that video when I link it. Peace.